righty. There's Queen Salsa. Guarding the fort, I guess. Doing a great job, Salsa. Doing a great job. Uh, today. Today, I really don't have much planned, so I'm going to just try and make this into a daily video, but I'm going to do some trash picking early on. Uh, there's no auction going on this week, so I'm not going to the auction, but I'm going to drive through a town that we trash pick before the auction. Uh, and I just recently actually just got out a bunch of orders here. So we got some Taco Stack merchandise. Still, people are picking up merchandise, so I greatly appreciate that. That kind of support helps the channel keep growing and keep, uh, keep going in the right direction. And I also got some eBay orders packed up. Uh, a couple things that I had listed all last year, and they finally sold. Uh, I finally lowered the price. I actually did a little trick here is I did auction style for seven days, and then my buy it now price was like $2 less than my old buy it now price when I had it just as a buy it now listing, and people just bought it. So uh, that seems to be working pretty well. So we'll see what happens. Move out some old inventory, do some trash picking, and see where the day takes us. Let's get into it. Let's see what happens today. Let's do it. finally done. Alright, it appears that we Hey look a Christmas tree. Found tons of those so far. It appears that we've kind of beat the garbage trucks. I did just pass one. I don't know if it was a recycling truck or a garbage truck. I think I spoke too soon because it looks like, no, not this street. Sometimes the people on here on the right throw away some things. That's just garbage bags. There's some more boxes. Boxes. There's nothing so far. Everything's still kind of playing tricks with me because you see a bunch of boxes out here and you're like, oh, there's a bunch of stuff. But in fact, it's all stuff that's carrying over from the holiday season. It's kind of starting to uh, disperse itself in terms of we're not going to just get a gajillion boxes like we had the past couple times. gloomy day. Alright, looks like we got a decent pile here. That black container is exactly what I need. Let's see, is this, that's gonna work. I'll talk a little bit about this pretty soon, but I need exactly this. And I probably should take the other one. I don't need the water though. This is, that I think will work. I'm gonna grab some of this, this metal before we start doing a little treasure hunting.
should also probably put you down, but there'd be no treasure hunt with you guys if I did that. I could wear my chest mount. This might be brass. I've had one before, it looked very identical to that, and it was brass. I might grab this metal here shortly. See if there's anything of interest you guys might look. See what's in that green thing. It does, however, just look like it's all garbage. I'm not drinking that Coca Cola. Ugh. <clears throat> nope. See how the nope, there's mold all over it. That's not gonna work. It's nice, but see it's all mold. Got what? Got moldy. Oh my. Oh my. Alright, I'm gonna have to put you guys down and grab all those weights. So I grabbed a bunch of metal at that spot. I did grab that storage container because what I'm planning on doing is I keep all my clothes for eBay down in the bottom um, closet that I have. And what I'm planning on doing in 2020 is to kind of stop selling $10 items on eBay, especially like five to $10 items on eBay that are clothing related because realistically, when you try to list clothing on eBay, People really don't look for filler shirts, right? They don't look for very simple shirts. It's either gotta be something that's really, really cool that you can get 25, 30 bucks for. A lot of things don't really sell for $5 or $10. And if you start selling stuff for five bucks, it's really not profitable after all is said and done. So I was really hoping to kind of, my bottom shelf and my closet, uh, I was trying to make it into a little taco stacks area where I can keep all my film supply and I just recently actually bought a bunch of mattress bags. Did you see a mattress out there? Um, that's kind of coincidence. Uh, I recently just bought a bunch of that, so if I buy a storage locker, I can get rid of the mattresses. Or why I have to swing back that way. I saw something. This is the lady that yelled at me. So I don't even really stop there anymore. She literally yelled at me. Um, so trying to have a little space for all that so I can be organized and be well prepared for anything in the future in terms of, you know, if I want to buy a storage locker, I still regret not buying that one that had probably 15, 20 Home Depot boxes in it uh, and probably had mattress over there, probably had five or six mattresses. So I didn't buy it because of the mattresses. I knew wrapping them, your time you spend and all the cost you spend on the mattresses and disposal of everything. I think there was also a couch in there and a television. Uh, I didn't buy it because I figured the cost and the time put in would be way too much for me. So 2020, I'm hoping not to make any more of those kind of mistakes. So I think that uh, that little container would be great to keep supplies in. We can finally have an organized space. We gotta swing back and hit up that one street. 
last time I came here, these streets were all picked over, so I beat the garbage truck today. At least I thought I did. Alright, what road was this? What road was this? I think it's the next one. I think it's this one. It's that stuff. Whatever that stuff is. Oh, jeez. Homeowner. It was nothing anyway. It was a vacuum cleaner and, like, a press board desk for, like, a kid. Let's see if there's a... Anything intriguing in this dumpster? Not really. It's all press board up there. Skis. I think this old coffee tin. It didn't look that it, it looked intriguing, but it's not. Take one more look. There's also no step. No, not really. Some wicker furniture paint that's all wood back there it's a five gallon bucket I think this house is being foreclosed or something because they got a sign up there this is also a town you can't trash pick so if I jump in there and a cop shows up we can be in some, uh, some serious trouble but took a little gander all right same Jeep strikes again so this looks like probably the final road there's a lot of garbage out but see that one had a bunch of holiday wrapping vacuum cleaner i can see right here it's missing the cord uh you know what play the odds there i'm going straight we're going to figure out which way i'll just uh just looks like an alleyway one way that way well it's two ways this way not seeing anything down there which is weird because like some of these have these automated like uh, style trash cans but they don't have automated trash pickup which I mean you can use whatever but um, television down there I wonder if they just give those out for free or you have to buy them from the trash company this person I don't know what's going on here is that okay I don't think there's anyone in it that a parking spot? Got me. Got me. Uh, but yeah, it's probably going to wrap it up. I'm going to drive down this way. This is actually the main road that I was just on. Uh, I'm going to hang a left onto one of these side streets. So we have a cop coming right at us. He's missing the headlight. Missing the headlight. No, oh, of course. Go figure. Go figure. Just like that, made it back. Um, people asked to see me clean out my van. I actually just did it the other day. The only thing I really have left is my vest. Two pairs of gloves. So I got one pair over there, one pair over here. I have my chest mount, as well as my tripod and my ice scraper. And now a pair of gloves over there, but everything else is cleared out. There's no more receipts. Uh, water bottles. I probably had 12 or 13 water bottles. I had probably like two or three sips out of them. So I probably wasn't that smart. Uh, but that took me a little over an hour. It probably took me the longest because I had so many things. I had to just like go different places. I had stuff that had to go to the warehouse. I had things that had to go inside. Things that went to tax folders. Things that went into, uh, you know, personal folders. Stuff like that. Uh, what we really grabbed today so 
I wish I actually probably should have stuck around a little bit longer at that dumpster. It did look like it was all just like garbage. There had to be, I think, 10 or so 80s tennis rackets there. Uh, this is probably the best thing I, I even saw, and it was right on top. So I grabbed this. It is missing the lid, which is kind of unfortunate, but I think somebody would still like that. Uh, it's something that will definitely sell. Uh, out of all the weights, these were the only metal ones that were there. These are some big ones. Uh, I wish there was a play against sports around me. There isn't. Uh, play against sports has kind of died out everywhere. I think they used to pay you like 15 cents or 20 cents per pound for these kind of weights. So, you know, right there you have like 30 bucks, if so. But there's none around me. So I'll probably just hold on to them for the flea market. I don't think I'll scrap them. And then I grabbed this container as well as all that kind of stuff. Um, which I'll eventually bring inside once that dries out for my own pile. Ugh. Maybe it won't rain today. Who knows? Uh, but I still have a bunch of stuff here. Some of this stuff. Uh, so Paper and Moose and I were going to go to the uh, go to Lambertville probably about two or three weeks ago. And it ended up raining that day. So we never went. But she dropped off a lot of her bigger items because she doesn't have a, a van to haul it. It was kind of like she was going to pay for the spot as long as I kind of compensated for the transportation. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't make it there in time. But a lot of this stuff is still going to Lambertville whenever I get to that. I was kind of thinking about going to Five Acres. I was thinking about kind of going to Five Acres flea market here shortly because I have a lot of like box lot stuff. Stuff like box lots, dollar items, two dollar items. Those don't really sell that well at Lambertville. A lot of household stuff doesn't sell there. It's more of like an antique place. Like, so if I brought, say I brought 40 boxes, maybe brought like 200, 300 items. If I brought to Lambertville, I might only sell 20 or 25 items of that kind of style. Uh, whereas if I took it, you know, to five acres, I might sell 75 or 100 of those items if I brought the same amount. So it's a kind of like a different market. Um, it's kind of chilly in here. I was wondering why I'm so cold. It's 30 degrees in here. <sighs> but yeah, so that's why I kind of wrap it up here. I'm going to sit down, probably try to get some of this stuff organized, get some of this stuff to the warehouse. I mean, I've had this plate here for, I don't know how long. It's a very nice plate. My anvil. Uh, maybe maybe one day I'll have an official scrap pile. I don't know how much bleach I need in my life. There's got to be six or so bottles down there. I don't think I've used any bleach in 2019 to, uh, to my memory. Same with, you got white vinegar down there. Like, I didn't use any of that in all of 2019, so I don't know why I saved that. It's taking up space, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. A little bit different of video. Got some cool things. Got some scrap metal. Uh, picked up that nice tin. Might go back next week to see if that dumpster is still there. Maybe take some time out and check out what that dumpster really has. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully the holiday season has treated you well. I'll catch up with you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button and subscribe for more treasure hunts. Catch up with you guys next time. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.